Every four years, there's an Olympics game ceremony. And this ceremony was a bit strange. more controversial and strange. We got a clip here <laughs> for you guys. I'm sure you guys saw this. So this was actually wild. But when I saw it, I was like, what the hell is going on here? And it, th this caused a lot of problems because for those of you guys, right, and I don't expect you guys to know this, but anyone that's been a high-level athlete before, like myself, I was a Division One athlete, right? You train three, four times a day. You dedicate your life to it, right? You're tired all the time. You're sore all the time. You're always fatigued, battling injuries, etc. I remember all that vividly. That was miserable. Being an Olympic athlete, because when you're an Olympic athlete, now you're not just competing to get a scholarship or for your school. You're competing for your country. So guess what happens? You're training at an even higher level. You're training three, four times a day, but practice is longer. You're taking on more punishment. Your body is always battered. Pretty much every waking moment that you're not training, you're pretty much trying to spend trying to recover so that you can go ahead and do your next session, right? And very few people understand this unless you've competed at a, at a, at a very high level before, whether you're a professional athlete or a Division One athlete. You'll never understand the grind and the suffering that Olympic athletes have to go through to get to where they're at. And I know this because... When I was when I was rowing, one of my coaches actually named guy guy's name is Dave Walsh. He competed in the 2008 Olympics. I think he won a bronze in the men's eight, and he dedicated his life to being a rower. Row, 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 whether it was like he couldn't pursue certain jobs, he worked at like Home Depot and was like a mover. He battled through poverty, etc. Like he sacrificed right a career and having fun and you know living life after college and being a bachelor, all that shit. He sacrificed it to go compete in the Olympic Games, right? And it takes a certain, you got to be fucking damn near crazy and wild to be able to do this. Now, why do I say this? I'll say, why do I say all this? I say all this because this stupid ceremony that they went ahead and decided to, to put on, right? Robbed all of these hardworking athletes of the ability to get their rightful spotlight. And for me, right, as a guy that actually competed and did this shit and understands what it takes, I feel sorry for them. These guys sacrificed years to compete for their country at the highest fucking level, right? And this is being overshadowed in their talent. So we're going to go ahead and play this fucking shit right now for you guys. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, this was like a drag show, bro. Yeah. Keeping it. And this is, it goes here. The 2024 okay, Olympics has gone full uh, woke dystopian. The opening ceremony was filled with transgender mockery of the Last Supper the gold calf idol, and even pale horse from the book of Revelation, the Olympics has made it clear that Christian viewers aren't welcome. Now, you want to speak to this a bit fresh as a, yeah. as a Christian? So this kind of plays into the end times of what's happening with... Can we enlarge this so they can see like what was going on? Yeah. Christians being mocked and you know chastised and all, all this. And it's kind of like you're seeing this in real time and they don't care. So this is said in a nutshell. If you're Christian, F you. We're going to do this in your face. And as a result... To be honest with you guys, like Christians are very passive, especially nowadays, and they don't fight back. They obviously love Christ, they love the, the Lord, they love God, but to them it's like God's gonna save us. It's already written. I'm gonna relax. And I understand it because the Bible does teach turn, turn you the cheek. However, when it comes to fighting for what you believe in, you should defend the faith. And if this is nonsense, speak up about it. Granted, though, that it's almost like if like they did this knowing. It's going to piss people off, and they didn't care. And as a result, because it's this happening, most people are saying, you know what, at the Olympics, but they don't want to go out in public, like in France, and protest in, in person. So it's what it is, man, at this point. Uh, here, can we roll some of these clips? This is supposed to be Jesus at the Last Supper as well, which is crazy, by the way. And isn't there a kid there too as well? Like, what is it? Well, this part of the ceremony is entitled Liberty and the Quest for Liberty. Bruh. That girl's one of the boys. There's a kid there, bro. There's, there's, there's a kid right there. Yeah. That guy on the right. He's dancing with the red hat. What? What the heck? What the heck is going on? Bro. That's wild. And the thing that pissed me off, like, it, it, now imagine, right? You competed, right? You, you've been training for four years to represent your country. You've endured pain, injury, maybe uh, exile from your friends and family because all you're doing is training for this sport, right? You're going through the trials and tribulations of fucking suffering, right? And you finally make it to the Olympics. You go to Paris. You're like, yes, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to compete for my country. 
this is great. You fucking prepared yourself. And then they do that. You got a bunch of fat people, right? And losers and weirdos and degenerates doing this stupid ass ceremony, making a mockery of a major religion. And then guess what? People boycott this shit. People have been boycotting like this for a while. You worked your ass off to get to this point, and now people are boycotting the Olympics. They're boycotting the event that you worked your ass off to get there, but you got this fat bimbo with the heart symbol like this, right? Taking the fucking spotlight from you. Did she earn that spot? No, she didn't. She was eating a bunch of fucking Donuts. Twinkies. Loser with a bunch of other degenerative weirdos that never worked for anything from an athletic perspective. And now they're getting the spotlight. Not only are they getting negative spotlight, they're making it harder for people to watch you perform for what you actually fucking worked your ass off to get to this point. You had to earn your position at the Olympics versus these idiots are taking that away and they're losing viewership. A bunch of people have boycotted the Olympics now because of these idiots. So now the athletes that worked their ass off to get there in that point aren't gonna get the fucking deserved spotlight that they should be getting. I think the whole Olympics itself is shadowed by this performance. And if you're a Christian athlete that's been through the trenches like you said before, work your whole life towards this as your main goal, and to see this in front of your face is an insult to your hard work and dedication. And ultimately, man, <coughs> as a Christian, bro, like, I get it. You want to be passive to not start the pot, but this right here is slapping the face. So I think what Andrew Tristan was saying as well, stand up for what you believe in, go out there and protest, honestly, because this is crap, bro. I'm mad for the athletes. That's who I'm mad, I'm mad for the most because they had to bust their asses to be in that position in the first place. They didn't sign up for some stupid woke agenda here for you guys to fuck up their opportunity to get the spotlight. These guys deservedly so sacrificed four years of their life. Again, mm -hmm. a lot of you guys, just keep it, you guys don't understand, don't understand competing as an athlete at the highest level. You give up so fucking much, man. You give up so much. Like You literally give up your life to compete at an Olympic level. It consumes you. There's a reason why people get that tattoo of the Olympic rings when they go to the Olympics. This is what they've aspired for their entire fucking life. And for them to not get the spotlight and have these weirdos get it instead and get negative press where people are boycotting and don't want to watch now, it's a fucking robbery of the people that busted ass to get there. And this is interesting to me because like everyone's like, and I rightfully so, I get it. The religious people are up in arms. They're angry, etc. Rightfully so. But I haven't seen anyone take the stance from the athlete's perspective. Mm. Like the athletes are the ones that are really suffering here the most, right? Because at the end of the day, these people are going to, they're sinning. They're going to go to hell. It is what it is, right? Mm. And the devout Christians, etc. they're like, man, fuck these idiots, whatever, right? Obviously, it's causing outrage. But I feel the most sorry for the athletes that are there that are suffering as a consequence of this fuckery when they had no choice in this bullshit. It was some weirdo that went ahead and designed this entire ceremony. And I guarantee you, he didn't consult the athletes like, do you guys think that this is okay? Do I do this? No. He did, this is the woke agenda. We want to show that we're tolerant. We want to show that we're westernized and we're super liberal and far thinking. No, man, this is some fuckery. This is fucked up. You're robbing the athletes of their hard earned ability to market themselves out there to all the people that want to watch top tier athletes compete. The Pope gave a speech after this happened, and he didn't even, even mention yeah. or even like speak to this performance in a negative light. And you're supposed to be the Pope of the world. You can't even defend your own religion against this, which is crazy, by the way. But to your point, but I think that sucks, baby, because he's putting all the yeah. hard work, and it's like, for what? Yeah, I to mean, I understand the religious outrage for sure. Like, I completely understand it, but I haven't seen anyone, like, talk about the athletes. Most people have zero idea what it takes to be a high-level athlete. Like, yeah. let's be honest. A lot of y'all triple-chin fat asses that have never done anything. That's the reality. Get mad at me. Whatever. But I can tell you, someone that did a, a Division One athlete, the Olympic level, D D1 athlete is here, professional athlete is here, Olympic athlete, here. Mm. Your life is dedicated to that shit. You want to know why it's also it's worse? A lot of these Olympic athletes don't get paid. Mm -hmm. Damn. They don't get paid. Nothing? No. Yep. Nope. A lot of them don't. A lot of the sports that they compete in are not paid sports. So that's what I'm telling you. When when my coach, shout out to Dave Walsh, he put his life on hold, man. Worked a bunch of bullshit jobs just to be able to fund his ability to train for U.S. rowing. That's crazy, bro. Olympic that's why I take this shit so personally. I'm pissed off when I saw this story because I knew in my head... I know what Olympic athletes have to go through to, to fucking get the chance to compete. And a lot of Americans don't know this. Because mm. they're, not, they're not considered professional sports. Yeah, a yeah. lot of them are not considered professional sports. Chris, like, obviously, like, Olympic basketball Olympic players and shit like that, that's, that's yeah. okay, that's one. Mm -hmm. One of the sports where the athletes make money and shit. But the majority of the Olympic athletes, are they, they, they're not paid in what they do. And by the way, you should see how they re retaliated. They kind of responded to this in a negative way as well. Olympics. Actually, uh, Bills, if you don't pull out a tweet from Chris, 
So they actually did a DMCA strike on a bunch of channels that talked about this in negative light oh, to shut down their opinions on about X, yeah, this they video. Did. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, X gave a bunch of DMCA. <laughs> and you never see that on X, by the way. Hey, like, well, where they hit you with copyright strikes. They hit people with copyright strikes for this shit. So Chris spoke about it on a Rumble. This is the abuse of the DMCA. We won't have any of it on Rumble. So that's a pretty good for what Rumble did. Yeah, bro. About this on X is wild. Crazy so shit, So they're man. not having any type of discourse. They're course. trying to censor it because so many people came out and said that this is bullshit, which yeah. rightfully so. It is bullshit. Like, bro, this, this I mean, this shit pissed me off. Like, because, I mean, not just from the religious perspective, like, there's a gross disrespect of, of Jesus, right, who's revered in, in both Islam and obviously for Christianity for obvious reasons. But it, you guys had to go ahead and take this, uh, this athletic event where you got the best in the world and make it about the fucking woke agenda. People are literally tired of this woke agenda being shoved down our throats, no pun intended. That's what the fuck they're doing with the, this alphabet community. That's what the fuck they're doing. And there's no shame. At all. They don't care. There's a reason why these classic movies where they're trying to, like, you know, make it more modern and make it more awoke and hip and all this other shit, you know, the alphabet community going ahead and putting in their certain two cents and ma modifying uh, uh, classics, there's a reason why they do, they do poorly. It's because people are fucking tired of this bullshit, bro. They're tired of it. You know? Once you leave clown worlds like L.A. and shit like that, where I was there and I saw a bunch of clown world shit, you're like, <laughs> in the real world, I'm you're sure. like, oh, wow, okay, this, like, what the fuck is this, man? Like, most Americans are sensible to a degree and understand, like, this is all a bunch of uh, fucking psyop. So the question is, how do we fight back against this woke agenda? How do we overcome and conquer this woke conspiracy? That's the issue here. And I think for the Christians that did see this as well, myself included, if you're going to be following this as a global pandemic of disgrace to Christianity, you should have been in France protesting, if you were there at least, to show support for what's happening. So, that's all I'll say. Crazy shit, man. Yeah. We kind of opened Pandora's box once we legislated this and allowed gay marriage. And then from there, just like slippery slope and just went crazy. Is there any going back, you think? At all? No. In America, no. We are doomed, my friend. You would need to legislate Reset everything. Out. You, you would need to make it illegal, which I, I no, that's political suicide. Even if you're uh, a Republican, that's political suicide. Damn. Even the GOP is accepting more woke things. They let I'm, guys. I was at the RNC. They let Amber O speak. I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Letting Amber O speak at the at the fucking Republican National Convention. What? Ridiculous. Yo, bro. Isn't this, a, this Yo. supposed to be the pro-life party? Isn't this supposed to be the, the conservative party? Yeah. This chick has an OnlyFans. She ran a special 50% off while she was at the RNC. Yeah. Uh, that is today's society standards of what should be seen on television, and, by the way. And here's the thing. Look, 